this is the third video showing you how to update your Skybox. Now, uh, the Skybox software at the moment is R13. The new software is R14. This was released in the last couple of days uh, to force stream. So you can now force the update through the backup button. So I'm just gonna quickly go through turning the Skybox on. Show you the current software version, the actual layout. Okay, so press so uh, TV guide. Click up to uh, settings. System signal, I mean system details. So that's R13, let's release. Okay, and network version 1.03. So I'm just gonna go back to the menu. So that so currently it looks like this. So afterwards it's going to be different. There's gonna be more artwork at the bottom. So okay, so I'm just gonna do the force the update now. To force the update, you'll need to press and hold the backup button. Whilst holding the backup button, remove and plug back in the power cord. If you were successful, this will appear all four lights. I've now forced the update. This screen will appear. In 10 minutes, it will then reboot, and after a further three minutes, the Skybox will be ready uh, to turn on and um, basically use again. So you'll obviously see some uh, changes to the software um, and the layout. So. Yep, that's it. So, um, so I hope it will. So minute, minutes for me, seconds for you. Right. Now the update is complete. You'll see this screen. So now it will go into standby. Um, the box will have a green light on the front of it. So again, you can't do anything. You have to wait for it to power down. Then leave it a couple of minutes and then. I'll turn it on. Okay, now the Skybox has done the update. Now I'm just going to turn it on by pressing the Sky button. If you've got your CEC enabled TV, then it should just work. So this is the message you'll normally get when you've updated the software. We've updated your Sky uh, Plus box HD to make it easier, <coughs> to make it even better. So uh, just select to see the changes, press the select button. Okay, so we've added brilliant new features to your Sky uh, Guide. Find great shows with daily top picks on your homepage. Watch whole series and download next when you watch an episode on demand where it automatically downloads the next series. Pick up right where you left, <coughs> where you stopped watching with the new, the <coughs> new continue tab in the, your uh, planner. Press services on your Sky Remote to customize your Sky Guide in your new services. Homepage, you'll find all your radio channels here too. Find out more about the new features at sky.com slash skyguide. Okay, so that's it. So now, yep, that's what you now have. So it's a much more, what's the word? It, it, I think it's to blend in more with SkyQ that they're trying to go for. So uh, I actually, quite like it actually so um, yeah what I'm going to do now is press yep so it doesn't seem menus like that okay so 
this box services services ah oh, so you have now to services to get into settings so it's r4 r4 ting so that's the new software version and yep it's now network version 1.04 okay so i'm just going to put the sky card back in that should make the bottom part appear when you press sky guide Okay, so I've now put the card in and it now appear like that. So you've got more artwork at the bottom. Yeah. They're trying to go for more, um, more modern, more to blend in with Sky Q. So if I just click on uh, Sky, Sky Model Top Picks, yeah, it'll come up like that. So if you click, oops. So what, you need to upgrade? No, I'm not going to upgrade. That's the new sky um, front. I'm just going to go on to here. Yep, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. So, yep, I quite like it. Some people might not, but, uh, you know, it's a pretty down to uh, your personal taste. Yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.